Hey guys, what's up? Not Armand here, and it's Tuesday again, so we all know what that means. It's time for App Review Tuesday. Now, before we get started, I want to remind all of you guys about my Groove Shark 30 Day VIP Pass giveaway, which was in the last video. You guys gotta check that out if you want in. Remember, you guys got six to seven more days before I announce the winner, so if you really want that, you know, to try it out, go ahead, subscribe, comment, tell me you guys still want it. We had to do it in the last video, though, not in this video. Alright, so today we're going to look up, uh, well actually we're going to not look up because I've looked it up already, but we're going to check out a an app called Widget Locker Lock Screen or something like that by Tesla Coil Software. Uh, it helps you, I just got a text or something, it helps you customize your unlock screen which is pretty cool. You can add widgets and a little doodads and knobs and buttons and whatnot to your unlock screen. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. And we're going to look up an, a PS1 emulator for most phones out there, but it works really well with my Xperia Play. It's called FPSE. Now, the guys who made that, I, I can't really pronounce their name, so I'll just put it in the description below. But before I do get started, I want to tell, let, let all of you guys know that I do not condone in getting, you know, ISOs and ROMs and all that bullcrap. You know, what you do is what you do, but naughty naughty, I actually own PS1 games, they're in that closet right there, that one, right here, where my hand is, Whoa. they're in that closet, and I'm in the process of getting all four discs of The Legend of Dragoon, you know, converted so I can put it on this phone and just literally just waste my life playing that game again, alright, so that's what's on deck today, so let's get started. So, here is the Xperia Play. And here is my new Fandango unlock screen. Now, this, you can customize the way you do things. So let's actually go back to the unlock screen. Five, four, three, two, one. So this is, uh, if I wanted to check my messages really quick, I just hit that. This is for my brightness. As you guys can all see, I don't know what that one does, but, you know, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, let's turn the brightness back up. This is for the quick camera, just to get the camera real quick. If I want to make a phone call, just slide that that way, unlock it. I can add other widgets. Oh, I gotta actually go to the unlocker. As you can see right there, hold it down, and I can add a... It's pretty bright, actually. So I can add a custom slider, applications, shortcuts, or widgets. Let's see, I can just put applications. Let's find something that might want to get to really quick, like maybe FPSC, and there it is. I can access it from my unlock screen really quickly if I ever do need it really quick. Let's throw that back down. So this is the widget on, uh, what was it? Widget Locker Lock Screen by Tesla Coil Productions or Corporations or one of the, any of those. And it's useful. It's one ninety nine on the Android market. Uh, I think for two bucks it's really good. Uh, for battery life, I don't see it draining too much battery life. Then again, I live in a place where, as you guys can see, I only have one bar. So... My battery does die out really quickly most of the time, so it, it sucks, but I don't see this draining battery life much. My phone hasn't slowed down, but I've read some reviews where people have complained about it slowing down, so every phone, you know, has it's a, a different way of taking things, so this is a really useful app. I highly recommend it, and I hope you guys, you know, hope this gives you guys a push to go check it out, all right? Now let's get to FPSE. This, I only have Bloody Roar 2 and Parappa the Rapper on here. So let's, you know, throw that up. This is $4.99 on the Android market. And very, I don't know. I've looked at other free ones and they don't really give you as much options as this one. It, it lets you change the controls, lets you limit frame rate, lets you do a lot of things. It's, uh, it's, and there's Prepper the Rapper, like, who does not remember this game? This is great. Prepper the freaking Rapper, guys. Who does not remember this? This, this FPSC lets you use your ISOs and play them on your PS1 with limited to no 
you know, frame skips or anything. And if it does, you can always go to settings really quick. You got your input right there. You can hardware the keys to any buttons you like. Let's see all that. Um, I haven't figured out what L2 and R2 will be, but you can change the the video settings. Turn frame skip on. I usually put it up to 50 per, frames per second. It, it it helps a little bit. Frame skip fix. You know, screen filtering, screen size, brightness boosts, all 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 the all the you know all the little things that could make a difference to make the game easier for you. So this is FPSE. Now, who doesn't remember going up at this game? This is like freaking classic. Block. Block, 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 block. It's going on your rocky. Duck. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys can see that this is, does a good job of, you know, running the emulated games, the ISO files that ISO luckily found software that lets you do it for free. That was FPSC. I do not know who makes it, but I will definitely have it in the description below. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I do this every Tuesday as well as gaming videos every other day of the week. So that would be great. So always, you know, hit the subscribe button up there somewhere. You know, it's free. It doesn't hurt anybody. Uh, comment. I would like to hear you guys your, your comments. Uh, what am I doing wrong? What would you like to see? If you guys have any suggestions or any apps you would like to see me review or look at, um, I'm always taking those up. All right. So this is not Armand signing out. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.